M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's unbox the TorquePod A36 Plus VHF UHF radio, also GMRS, and in the UK it will be P PMR. So it's in the box, we've got the programming cable. I'll do a separate video programming this radio. So yeah, it looks like a twin pin one, very nice quality. There's your instruction manual. Black and white pick, so it's gonna be, you know, it'll be okay. And then we'll get to what else we've got here. All the actual unit. What's written on the back here? Let's have a look. 144 to 148, 430 to 440. It's a nice, it's actually smaller than I expected. Uh, but in a good way, I think it's a, a nice, a nice size. Yeah. Got the usual keypad. I think it does have DTMF, PTT there. Customizable buttons, hopefully. Twin pin connector for headphone, microphone, and for programming. A36 Plus. Emergency button, nice big LED, on off. SMA connector for your antenna. Clips in there. Oh, you look at this. We've got, I noticed that there's, this one's got USB charging. So let's just take everything else out of the box. Antenna. It's okay. I mean, it's a nice design. It's a budget, you know, these, these are budget antennas. But it's a nice design, nice flexible whip to that. Now, although it does have a cradle charger, it actually is USB-C charging, and that's always a plus. I think they're all coming out like this now, USB-C charging. And the, let's have a look at the amp power, see if we can uh, spot that one. 7.4 volt, 1500 milliamp, not bad for a you know, small battery. A belt clip in there as well. Like that just slides down here. Big, quite a big cradle charger. Yeah, and it is nice to stand up the radio in the radio in the cradle charger, isn't it? Let's uh, let's put that in. Let's clip. I think it clips in like that push oh, it's already on just put it in a cradle charger because I know that you know we don't need it but it is quite handy you know to have a cradle charger because just so you can stand the radio in it's like a yeah what else we got here? another box there all right USB charging and they have given us also a USB C charging cable as well Get the antenna on there and turn this on. Frequency mode. Yeah, it looks nice. Nice, nice looking, definitely a nice looking screen. Okay, well it's VHF and UHF. There's an AB button which is nice, clearly marked A and B. We're in VFO mode at the moment. If we hold down the AB button, it scans. Scanning begin. There you go, it's quite good. Push it. There's someone there. That's handy, isn't it? Wonder what, wonder what that is. I don't recognise it. And we can stop the scan with the PTT. The green button is, a, is the main menu. Menu. Uh, there's lots of items here. You can go up or down. The one I always turn on straight away is the ABR one because that stops the screen timing out because that's annoying. The, the red button is a back button. As far as I can see, that's all it does. You've got FM radio. Push the FM here. On. The accessibility ought to be built into everybody's systems. Pretty good. Um, but off. Now, if you key, it does. There is a DTMF function. Okay, so you, you can do DTMF. So it's a very nice looking screen, nice and clear. Do so need to learn how to program this? 
You can program via the software, but I'll save that for a separate video. On top, let's just push this, and it's a programmable button. You've got this button. At the moment, I've told it to change the power, and it's about four watts, this radio. See that? Power. Now, to go into VFO and memory mode, what you do is just hold down the green button. So, see it says VFO, we can type the frequency. So we go four, three, four, four, five, five, zero. That's my hubnet node. You've got the main thing going up and down there, look, with the AB button. Now, if we hold down the green button, channel mode. it puts the, because the main is at the bottom, into what they call channel mode. And One, you can scroll through two, three, channels that you've programmed. If we go to the A band, same again, hold it down, the green channel button, mode. channel, which is basically memory. Frequency mode. Frequency, that's my repeater GB3W. I haven't actually programmed it in. Now scrolling through, let's have a quick look. So if we go to the B section, we'll see if we can go put my, my node in. Four. Now let's go to VFO. Frequency mode. Four, three. So that's my node. Well, we're not going to open it now. I don't think there's no CTCSS in there at the moment. So we're going to go menu and look for CTCSS. Now there is a time outlook on number 32. So that's how long you speak. Tone. No, we don't want tone. We want CTCSS. DTMF code. Look. S code. No. No. Is that what was that? No. Tail phase. Channel name. That's for naming channels. We're not doing that at the moment. Scan. Oh, it does scan CTCSS. That's handy. We want transmit CTCSS. So it's got DCS. Not that we ever use that. There it is there. CTCSS. So we're going to go uh, menu. And then it goes red, and the thing you're going to use, you select, you have to change to red. So go down until, or up, until you see 60, 77 in red, and then you press the green button. Confirm. It's confirmed. Now I can back out. Now as long as I'm in simplex mode, we should open up my node. You can see you've got the little speaker show in there as well. I can't see any volume slider. I'm turning it, and there's nothing moving here. I can change the power with the top button, but I'll go in the menu. So let's just key up and see if we open up my node. There, we, we did. And I want to just test, I would test these DTMF. I'm not sure which one's the star, because we've got the numbers, which one's the star. But you can hear there, so I'll give a quick audio check. See if anyone comes back to me. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for an audio check. Bravo. Uh, the audio sounds fine, old mate. Um, this is G4YCA, portable, in his deck chair in the garden, in Chester. That's good. Nice and clear. i get that focused in and then we'll reply. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah, I'm just testing out a TalkPod. I don't know if you've heard of it, TalkPod A36 Plus. It's almost like a Bofong, but it has a colour screen, and uh, they're about £40. Uh, VHF, UHF, GMRS, PMR radio. So it's Andreas, Western Supermare. Back to you. Um, OK, fine, Andreas. Well, uh, good morning or good afternoon to you. I don't know what it is at the moment. <laughs> This is G4 YCA Portable. Name's Peter. I just uh, sat down in the deck chair after doing a little bit of gardening to have a quick uh, cup of coffee and what have you. Um, uh, anyway, the audio sounds fine. I'm using a valve bang, a little handy dandy valve bang, nothing special. And I'm working through the uh, CR repeater in Kai Gurley, which is about uh, 12 or 13 miles away and obviously through the hub net to you. Um, <coughs> you've probably 
got the same weather as us, I think. We've, we've had a couple of really nice days up here. It's been very warm, and the day looks like being the same, although there are a few tiny clouds in the sky just uh, dotting around, but um, nothing to worry about. The thunderstorms haven't arrived yet. G4 YCA portable, the next Peter. Yeah, hi Peter. Well, nice to get you. It's cooler today. No rain yet. Your bow phone's sounding very good uh, via that repeater. I've got a node. I'm cheating in about 20 foot away from me. I do like those nodes. The one made by G7 RPG. And so I'll give it another test now. I'll probably go to GB3WR and give it a test on two meters. And uh, so just having fun playing radio. So I'll carry on with these tests. Thanks very much, Peter, for the comeback. M0FXB. Back to you for a final. Yeah, okay, Andreas. Uh, is it Andreas, I think it is, isn't it? I'm not quite sure. But anyway, yeah, fine. Well, it's, it sounds all right. The nose working. And uh, I, I haven't got one. I don't bother with one. I just <laughs> work through the uh, local repeater. Trying to keep the thing radio, if you know what I mean, rather than uh, uh, hotspots and techniques and iPhones and what have you. This is real radio as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> the whole thing is just a bonus, isn't it? Anyway, cheers and um, hopefully talk to you again. G4YCA portable, off and clear. Bye for now. Got a black and white PTT. Oh, G4YCA portable. I didn't know you were there. You should have spoken. Right, up. I'll leave them to it. I'll come away from that frequency and then just on the A band, I know we've got twin twin receive, so we'll go to A. Okay, did I, did I double with you or, or something? So we're on 145600 VFO mode, high power. We just need to get our tone, our CTCSS tone in there. So we'll go back to I menu. Knew. So that's menu number seven is our tone. We, can, we need 94.8, so we go menu. 94.8. Confirm. Confirmed. That's great. We'll back out. And uh, then we go menu. And now we're looking for our shift. We probably passed it earlier. Oh, yeah. TDR, which is menu 9. That means you will receive on the A and the B band. We're still looking for our shift. TX A and B says off, but I'll leave that because it seems to be working. Oh yeah, you can either display the name or the frequency. What else can you select? Yeah, you can select, you can display the name or the frequency. So if you put a memory channel, you have to go back into menu 11 and select name. Confirm. Let's go down to naught. Offset, there it is there. So we want to go... Offset. It's actually 600 on this, so we're going to go... Menu number 5 zero, is offset. Zero. zero. Then you want 6. six. Zero, zero, zero. Then menu. Confirm. So if we exit, we should get a shift. Now, saying we can't see the frequency when we're, we're TX and all wrong one anyway. Right. Yeah, we might have to still select minus, but we've selected the amount of the shift, which was menu. menu number five. Menu five is the shift. Now you can, I think, go menu and menu. then type the number two seven, and you go to that, you know, to that one there. Let's see if we can find. Still searching for our shift. So it turns out to be menu number four is your shift direction. So you go menu. menu. Number it actually says it something different in the manual. <laughs> so we'll go green and then we want it minus. Minus has to be in red. Confirm. Okay, so now hopefully when we key and we'll call for a test, we should, with a bit of luck, open up GB3WR. M0FXB, test, 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 M0FXB.
Now I might have to go outside for that. Let's just check, we've got the tone. We need to turn the tone on. We've got minus the frequency. I think we're gonna to have to turn the tone on. Okay. We are just about receiving it. We're not really opening it. Turn it down. So the important one is when you go menu, you get your CTCSS tone in there, your offset in there, and your shift direction. So it's menus four, five, and six is essential. And then once you've done it, then you can put that into a memory. Now I've not done memories yet, but you know, we'll just quickly try and we go menu. menu. Menu number eight is memory. And then you can choose a channel here. Channel. Yeah, you can go up and down. So we'll just put it into number one. Confirm. Confirm. Then we'll back out. And so we're in VFO mode. Let's hold down the green button, put it into memory mode. Channel mode. Look at that. Channel one, we've got DB3WR in there. Now naming it, I'm not sure if that's sometimes when you try and do it on the actual radio, it's really difficult, but we'll have a quick look. And what I'll do, I'll make separate videos on adding memory channels and repeaters, ETC, but you know, I'm here, so I'm gonna have a quick look at the name menu. section. We'll go to menu. And we have got to this menu, which is actually 001. So 001 is called name. I'm sort of learning as we do this. So we're going to hit it, and then and then what? Mm, it's all in Chinese. <laughs> Confirm. It doesn't really. I don't really know how to do that. Menu. So we know channel what? Channel nineteen actually, not number one. And it's number one. Let's go down. Let's have a look what we have got. We've got all these different names. Confirm. No name. But if we go down to, then go down to the Chinese, say number eight, for example. Confirm. Yeah, it's, yeah. I just think you need the programming software if you want to add names at the moment. So that's it. Overview of the TalkPod A36 Plus, about forty pounds to the UK. And I think I showed you the uh, connectors for the the usual twin pin connector. But it looks like I would. Guess, let's have a look at the lead. Oh yeah, the twin pin connector is used to program via the, the software, which will be free, separate video for that. Bye for now, 7.3.